over the last couple of weeks of the season so not as strong as they were but Kate Curlin is at the plate to start us off and he looks at a first pitch strike 13 home runs for Curlin he's driven in 39 and he drives this one high and deep to left field Swanson at the wall and is gone Florida flexes its muscles early one nothing Gators on a Kate Curlin home run. One down with Colby Shelton coming up. Here's how Kid Curlin started the game. We talked about how fast Sears works, and it is really quick. This is 0-2, and honestly, it's too good 0-2. Slider that catches too much of the plate, and Curlin was double-digit home runs last year in his freshman year. Yes, and off Sears goes. And a looping line drive hit over the second baseman set. A one-out single for Shelton. Whoa, slip coming around first and has to throw on the brakes and dive back. Two and one to Heyman. And he lines one to left field. It is the third hit of the opening inning for the Florida Gators against the Big Ten Pitcher of the Year, Brett Sears. Two seasons at Santa Fe, and he bounces one up the middle, kick of the bag, and Stokes sends it to first for an inning ending double play. Up the middle, and reached but only touched by Shelton and Case Sanderson. Here's Peterson's one two. Swing and a miss. And he takes care of the most dangerous hitter in the Nebraska lineup. His catcher, Hammond, tried to help him out by bringing it back into the strike zone, but it's ball four. Kevin O'Sullivan after the visit on the mound. And this one's lined to left center field. Long run for Shelnut. Sanderson is going to score. Headed to third is Columbus. It's a run scoring double for Swanson. He's done it again, and he has tied the game. Obreit Stadium here in Stilly. Here's a 2 2 to Stone. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball. I got out of it. Couple of K's, but came up with some big hits, especially the last game of the year. And he rips this one to left field. Swanson couldn't get it. Passed him into the fence. And Ashton Wilson cruises into second. It's a leadoff double, and that is the fourth hit of the game for Florida with the Big Ten Pitcher of the Year on the mound. Got him. Short sleeves, but still sleeves. I know Madden is from Evansville. I don't know if he played at Evansville. Here's Sanderson into foul territory. Catch made. Tagging from second is Wilson. And now he heads back. And he just beats the race back to the back. On his way to a steal of third, and the throw is late. Two home runs in the season. He homered in their lone SEC tournament game. And a swing and a miss. Got him with a fastball and back to back strikeouts for Sears. And back to back change ups for the strikeout. Stokes is the nine hole hitter for Nebraska. And he sends a shot into right center. That one will get down and cut off by Wilson. He'll hold Stokes to his single. Runner on the move. Pitch is low. The throw to second is a hair late. And it's a stolen base for Stokes, who's now five for eight on the year. Uh oh. Swing and a miss. Peterson has struck out four. Keglione grounded out to short his first time up. And he launches one to left center field, tailing away from Silva. That's one hop in the wall. And Keglione motors his way into second base. That ball was smoked. 115 off the bat. Part of Lexington, South Carolina. Chased it. Back to back. Grounded to third, backhanded attempt, knocked down, no play. And Florida's got runners at first and third. We're fine, thank you. Yanked down the third baseline into left field. Caglione scores, Shelnut to third. He is still running, and this will be a two-run double. Shelnut across the plate. Ashton Wilson delivers. In just his fifth start, he's got two doubles, and now he's driven in two. To short. Carey's got it and guides it to first to end the inning. Another breaking ball waved at. Heyman steps into foul territory for the throw. And a fastball low. Fly ball into center field, chasing is Robertson and has space 
here in the fourth inning. He's 0 for 1. And now he sends this one deep to center field. Silva to the track, to the wall. It is caught at the fence. Guys selling concessions are mad at it. Don't be afraid to take a lap. That hole hitter Michael Robertson knocks it into center. Yeah, and there you go. Put him on with a guy on first base. I, I don't blame him. Well, late. All right, we'll give him a decent attempt. Sky high to the right side. Stokes back. And taken over by the shortstop. Stokes overran that one. Swing and a miss for Carey. Riley Silva sends this one to the right side. And that will close the fourth. Swing and a miss at the fastball. 93 that time. I actually had one before this game. So. <laughs> Dumps this one into right center field and gets out of the glove of Silva. Ashton Wilson has three doubles in this game. Yeah, this is what I do. Take it back. That was a super regional where Alonzo had those doubles, so you're forgiven. Over at third again. Safe. And the Gators have runners at first and third. Hard hit right at Carey. Ends up as a player of the year in their league. Pitch is low. That's ball four. It's a four pitch pass. Chopped up the middle. Range in a glove. And throw over. This ball's rocketed deep to right field. It is off the top of the fence. Robertson on his way to second. He'll stand up there with a leadoff double. The park just barely held that one. He homered to start the game for Florida, and he sends an opposite field shot that is snared by Stokes. Great play. First base open. What is that? Intentional walk number 22 yeah. on the year. Off the end of the bat, snared it short. This time it's Carey. This inning, Red Stokes had a nice play on a Cade Curlin. Well hit ball, and this ball has popped up. Gabe Swanson in left. And another missed opportunity for the Gators. They have three runs and 11 hits. I hope the roof is not needed. A punch out of Columbus. Florida finish a game above 500. Whoa, this ball is launched. Deep left field by Swanson. It is way gone. And off the scoreboard. Degree launch angle, and it may have gone too high for Trackman to track the distance. Well, it hit the board, I'll tell you that, and that's a long way for Peterson to have been living on the changeup today. But to come right back in towards the barrel, Kevin O'Sullivan making the slow walk up. Peterson, who had not given up a hit since the second inning, just gave one up that hit the scoreboard to make it a one run game. Swanson, Simpson, Sampsonite, it all counts the same, and Huskers have made it a one-run game. Yeah! Line drive base hit for Tyler Stone. Just collective Wee runner goes, so the second is in time. Was the tag there? They're not sure. Nebraska considering a challenge, but a caught stealing to end the inning. Strike three called after the meeting. Chris so infamous Schick and Nick podcast. Beautiful bunt laid down by Silva. The shuffle well gets him there in time. Fisher Jamison retires Riley Silva. If Nebraska can't do anything offensively. Ground ball to short. Gobbled up by Shelton. Whoa. Caglione helped yeah, he him out. Can do that. Chris so's going into his third inning of work and the first pitches. Totally fooled Dale Thomas. The Nothing bat just broke. You ever seen that one? Where did it break? It the broke. knob came. Yeah. <laughs> Check swing and it snapped the bat right by his hand. No, I've never seen that. I've seen them. I've seen metal bats break, but usually it's kind of. Usually it's, it's a neck. Yeah, usually it's a spot to where a wood bat's going to break. This is. <laughs> this is uh, what the rare occurrence right there. <laughs> 
Off the mound and into center field. Dill Thomas with the leadoff single here in the eighth. There he goes. Pitches a ground ball to the right side. No play at second. Curlin sends this one into right field. Around third is Thomas. Here comes Sanderson's throw into second, and Florida adds an insurance run. And an RBI single from Cade Curlin, his second ribby of the game. Nebraska will intentionally walk Jack Caglione for the third time today, this time with a runner on first base. Down. O2 to Heyman. Pulled to the left side. Beautiful play at third again. And Josh Overby takes care of him for the second time in this game. A lot of Zesto sold, I'm sure. Lined off of Cag's glove and trickles into right field. Seven home runs and 28 driven in. And that one gets through on the right side. Karen to second. Huskers have two on with one out here in the eighth. Four. Swing and a line drive to center field. It is caught by Robertson. No chance to tag for Karen, who came in three steps and had to retreat to the bag. Swing and a miss. One and uh, strike three. Pardon me, and that'll do it for Carey. And the Huskers leave the bases loaded in the eighth. Who got hit on the wrist? A few uh, Cardinals catcher it broke his wrist. wrist. Look out! High, deep, go. Wilson with his first home run of the year to go with three doubles and it just barely came down after hitting the top of the scoreboard. He had four starts before the postseason and it came in the last four games of the year for Florida. Now Ashton Wilson, all he's done today is hit three doubles in his first career home run. You ever seen a guy hit their name on the scoreboard? I've seen guys hit their face. Here at O'Bright Stadium, they put the lineup up in left field. He hit the W in Wilson about halfway up <laughs> the scoreboard and left. Watch this. They did not. Rounded up the middle, and Stokes was placed perfectly. The home run for Wilson, not just his fourth hit of the game, but it creates a little bit more breathing room for Florida. His first as a Gator, it's 5-2 Florida. Well, it takes us once into center. Robertson tracks it down. The Texas folks usually let you know about it. And he lines it into center field. Second hit of the game for the Roswell, New Mexico native. How about the helmet for Overbeek? Chopped to short. Chance for two, perhaps. Six, four, three! Got it! And Florida survives game number one. They ride the long ball to a 5-2 win. Nebraska will challenge it. 16-19 on the year in stolen bases. They just beat that left foot. This is probably our best look. And that wraps it up. Florida gets a double play to end it. So Florida will be in the 1-0 game tomorrow night against the winner between Oklahoma State and Niagara.